Here's a list of movies directed by Christopher Nolan, the British-American filmmaker known for several critically acclaimed movies. In order of release date, ranked along the way. Number 12, Following. An unemployed writer walks the streets of London, following random strangers for interesting story ideas. Starring Jeremy Theobald. This was Christopher Nolan's first feature-length film at 69 minutes. Feature length is typically around two hours, but depending on the authority you follow, feature films must be at least 40 minutes or longer. This was the lowest rated on Metacritic and the average ranking across many published lists. Number five, Memento. A man with a rare form of short-term memory loss attempts to track down the man who raped and murdered his wife, starring Guy Pearce and Carrie Ann Moss. Memento is a non-linear narrative with two different sequences cut together, a black and white series shown chronologically and a color sequence shown in reverse. This is the highest rated by Rotten Tomato audiences. Number 10, Insomnia. Homicide detectives are dispatched to a northern town where the sun never sets to investigate an unsolved murder of a local teen, starring Al Pacino, Robin Williams, and Hilary Swank. This is a remake of the 1997 Norwegian movie, Insomnia. It's the only movie directed by Christopher Nolan where he does not have an official writing credit, although he actually did write a final draft of the screenplay. This is the lowest rated on IMDb, TMDb, and Just Watch. Number 8, Batman Begins. Driven by tragedy, a billionaire creates a new identity and dedicates his life to defeating corruption and the criminal underworld. Starring Christian Bale, Michael Caine, and Liam Neeson. This is the first movie in the Dark Knight series. Christian Bale lost 63 pounds for the movie The Machinist, getting down to only 120 pounds. He then gained over 100 pounds in six months to play Batman at 220 pounds. This is the highest rated by Rotten Tomato audiences and cinema score. Number 6, The Prestige. An intense rivalry between two magicians leads them on a lifelong battle for supremacy with dangerous and deadly consequences. Starring Hugh Jackman, Christian Bale, and Scarlett Johansson. This is one of three movies released in 2006 to feature magic and magicians. The Illusionist, starring Edward Norton, and Scoop, also starring both Hugh Jackman and Scarlett Johansson. Number 1. The Dark Knight. Batman faces his greatest psychological test when a rising criminal mastermind unleashes a reign of chaos on Gotham City. Starring Christian Bale and Heath Ledger. This is the second movie in the Dark Knight series and the highest rated in nearly every category. Joker was Heath Ledger's final completed movie role before his death in 2008. His final movie, The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus, was rewritten to allow Johnny Depp, Colin Farrell, and Jude Law complete Ledger's role. Number 3. Inception. A thief with the ability to enter dreams and steal subconscious secrets gets a chance at redemption when offered an impossible task. Starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Inception is a complex story. The concepts of dreams within dreams and the relationship between gravity and time lead some open-ended questions that never really get explained. After Leonardo DiCaprio was cast, he spent months working with Nolan on the script, making sure it was clear and it followed logic. Number 9. The Dark Knight Rises after years in exile, Batman resurfaces to protect the citizens from a vicious guerrilla terrorist who has overwhelmed Gotham City, starring Christian Bale, Anne Hathaway, and Tom Hardy. This is the third movie in the Dark Knight series. This is the highest grossing at the box office, taking in $75 million more than The Dark Knight. The trilogy took in nearly $2.5 billion total. Number 7. Interstellar when Earth becomes uninhabitable, an ex-NASA pilot is tasked with taking a team of researchers to find a new planet for humans. Starring Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, and Jessica Chastain. The screenplay was written by Christopher Nolan's brother, Jonathan Nolan, who also wrote Memento, The Prestige, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. The script is based on the works of theoretical physicist Dr. Kip Thorne, who collaborated on the film with visual effects and laying down guidelines that the filmmakers would not violate established physical laws. Number 4. Dunkirk The story of the miraculous evacuation of Allied soldiers who were cut off and surrounded on the beaches and harbor of Dunkirk. Starring Finn Whitehead and Tom Hardy. This was Christopher Nolan's first movie based on historical events. The movie was shot on the actual beach at Dunkirk, where the evacuation took place, and they even used some of the original ships that participated in the real evacuation. This is the highest rated on Metacritic, sometimes called Metascore. Number 11, Tenet. A secret agent journeys through a world of international espionage on a time-bending mission to prevent the next world war, starring John David Washington and Robert Pattinson. The movie runs in two timelines, one moving forward and the other running backward, with characters interacting in both worlds. 
The actors performed stunts backwards, physically walking and fighting in reverse, and actually learned how to speak in reverse. Number two, Oppenheimer. A theoretical physicist leads a team of scientists to develop the atomic bomb, the first nuclear weapons with the power to end all war, starring Cillian Murphy, Emily Blunt, and Matt Damon. This is Christopher Nolan's longest film. There are no CGI shots, and it was filmed entirely in IMAX. For the black and white sections of the movie, Kodak developed the first ever black and white film stock for IMAX. Currently, the highest rated on Rotten Tomatoes, Just Watch, and it received an A grade from CinemaScore. But it just came out in the last week or so, so I'm sure these numbers will change over time. Movies are ranked using critic ratings, user ratings, box office totals, published rankings, and votes from various movie rating websites. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this or leave a comment if I missed something important.